Twigby is a new carrier in the cell phone industry, and they are unique for two reasons, their pricing and their coverage. Their pricing is interesting because they have a build your plan approach to the market with plans starting at just $9 a month. You pay for a certain amount of minutes and data and unlimited texting is included for free. This build your plan approach is very similar to what US Mobile and Ting are doing. What separates Twigby from US Mobile and Ting is its coverage. Twigby actually uses two networks to provide coverage, the Sprint network and the Verizon network. Sprint is the primary network Twigby runs on, while Verizon is only used as a backup network for talk and text. So Twigby will be best for people who get good Sprint coverage in their area. Twigby was kind enough to send me an LG Tribute 5 with a free month of service to test out their network. I was not paid to make this review, and I didn't want to be paid so I could provide my honest and unbiased opinion. So with that said, here's what I have to say about the Twigby experience. The actual service part of Twigby was great. Sprint coverage in my area was surprisingly good and data speeds were totally fine. I averaged five megabits per second down and two megabits per second up at home, which is a little on the slower side, but still great for music streaming, web browsing, and social media. While I was out and about, I hit 30 megabits per second down and almost 14 megabits per second up. These are much more respectable data speeds and are perfect for all kinds of data consumption goodness. The hotspot feature is also supported by Twigby, but only after you enable it from your online account settings. The core functionality of having a phone, the ability to talk and text and constantly communicate with your friends and family also worked flawlessly on Twigby. Group and picture messaging worked perfectly, allowing me to participate in the riveting group chat I continue to have with myself. And I was also able to send over some nice wallpapers to the LG phone I was using for testing. Phone calls worked as expected, although the voicemail system on the LG phone was rather poor. The voicemail app at its core was perfectly functional, but it included annoying ads and wanted to charge $2.99 a month for premium visual voicemail. I found I prefer just dialing my own phone number to call my voicemail box and access my messages that way. Welcome to voicemail. This is also how voicemail works on the iPhone, as visual voicemail is currently not supported. Tapping the voicemail button calls your voicemail box, or you can listen to some nice lady tell you how many missed messages you have. You have 16 messages. In terms of the raw functionality of the phone, everything worked and everything worked well. The other part of the Twigby experience was the online account and plan features. As a relatively new company, the Twigby online experience is somewhat analogous to the voicemail application on the phone. The core functionality was there, but I think it could use some improvements. When you sign in, you are given a nice overview of your account. You can see all of your active lines, their nicknames, their usages, and their unpaid balances. Twigby handles family plans by grouping separate lines under one account for billing purposes. The lines and plans otherwise remain completely separate, and unfortunately, there are no group savings to be taken advantage of. Clicking the details button shows the specific plan for that line and the cost breakdown. Personally, I'd like to see this information more prominently displayed, as well as how many minutes and megabytes of data each line has remaining instead of how many they've used. All this information, by the way, can be monitored from the Twigby app available from the Play Store. Moving on to account settings, and you can manage the primary account holder's information as well as individual line settings. You can change the line nickname, turn voicemail off, enable your phone as a modem, turn on or off messaging, suspend your service, change your phone, request a new phone number, turn off your data, voice or messaging services, and set a data speed cap. Many users will probably ignore most of these options, and I think the line settings page really shows how the Twigby online experience can be improved. Having line nicknames is great, but it would be most helpful to me if they appeared in the line selection dropdown. The phone as a modem option should be renamed to mobile hotspot and enabled by default. And the unlimited messaging option should be removed as a messaging toggle already exists under the wireless services section. While many of these settings are probably unhelpful for the average consumer, I can see them being used by parents who want to have more control over their kids' cell phone usage. Want your child to focus on their homework? Bam! No more texting. Want to prevent your kid from burning through all their data? Boom! Set a data speed cap and they'll be sipping data instead of chugging through it. The pop-ups say the changes will take effect after rebooting your phone, but from my testing, the changes took effect instantly without any rebooting necessary. The only option missing from the online account settings is an overage protection toggle. 
The way Twigbee's plans work is you select your minutes and your data amount to create your custom plan. Again, unlimited texting is included for free. You can see if you go over your data limit, your speeds are throttled to 2G. What Twigbee kind of hides is if you go over your minute or data allotment, you are charged the difference of the next highest plan. For example, if you had 200 minutes and went over, you'd pay $3 and be bumped to the 500 minutes plan. With data, if you started with the 1 gigabyte plan and went over, you'd pay $9 and your speeds would be throttled to 2G. This is why overage protection is key. It shuts off your voice and data usage, so when you hit your limit, you do not incur any overage charges. Overage protection is available for free upon initial sign up for your plan, but unfortunately it is currently unavailable from your account settings. My recommendation is to enable overage protection upon initial sign up, or buy an Android phone and manage your data usage that way. From your online account, you can also see your bill history, make a payment, view your purchases, and add a phone to your account. Twigbee's online experience meets all the core requirements as you can view your usage and easily manage your account settings. Being able to have multiple lines on an account is perfect for families, and it's great the lines stay individualized so each person gets exactly the talk, text, and data they need. Having the Twigbee app available on Android devices is also convenient. I do think the website and the app could use some further improvements and refinements, and it would be great to see an iPhone app as well. But at the end of the day, the website gets the job done, and that's really what matters most. So who's Twigbee best suited for? Are they worth it? And how do you sign up? Well, first and foremost, I think Twigbee is best suited for families with young children getting into their first cell phones, or for people with relatively low talk and data usage. $9 a month for 200 minutes and unlimited texts is a great plan for children who need to be able to communicate with their parents, or for grandparents who need to be able to communicate with their children. It's honestly all I had from 7th through 10th grade, and I think it's a great plan to get started with. Twigbee's pricing remains competitive, as a plan with 200 minutes and 1 gig of data costs only $23 a month. A similar plan would cost $28 from US Mobile and about $36 from Ting. You can sign up for Twigbee by purchasing one of their devices or by bringing your own device. You can check to see if your device is compatible by entering its MEID in Twigbee's compatibility checker. Avoid using the phone's IMEI, as that number didn't work for me. Twigbee SIM cards are $2.99 with free shipping, and you can get your first month of service for free by using the promo code free to start. Twigbee also offers a $20 per person referral program, so if you like the service, you can refer your friends and earn some rewards. I had a very positive experience testing out the Twigbee network. If you get good sprint coverage in your area, I think Twigbee is absolutely a carrier worth considering. So that wraps up this video. Per usual, all of the links you need can be found in this video description. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson Doggett, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.